All right, I'm here at Silverado this morning, you guys. So I got requested to do this video here after I did five secrets to skating rails. I'm going to show you guys five easy rail tricks that you can learn. Now, obviously skating rails aren't, in theory, typically easy. I do know this, but once you do start skating rails, I think that these are the five tricks that might come easiest to most people. And that is board slide, front side board slide, 50-50, Backside feeble grind, and front side lip slide. Now I recently did a video on the 10 easiest flip tricks to learn, and I got a lot of comments saying flip tricks are not easy. And you're right, flip tricks are not easy, but once you start learning flip tricks, I believe those ones that I showed you are the easiest, and that is exactly what I'm going to do today with a rail. Once you are able to skate rails and you have the confidence and you have the ability to, these five tricks are the easiest tricks, in my opinion. Okay, so the first trick is a backside board slide. I think I can safely say that that is the first trick that everybody learns on rails. That or front side board slide. I learned backside board slide first, so that's what I'm gonna show you guys how to do first. Backside board slide is simply when. Simply when you are riding along the side of the rail like this, Backside, your back is to the rail, and you pop up 90 degrees and you slide on the rail going forward in the middle of your board. Now, for this trick, you definitely want to go at maybe not parallel, go at a slight angle. I would say this is good. So, like just a slight angle, slightly less than parallel. And then, what you're gonna do is you're going to pop, pop your board, and you're going to turn 90. Now, a lot of people might think that you need to know how to front 180 to do this trick, but you do not. You do not need to know how to do a front side 180. If you can just pop your board and pop it 90 degrees off to the side, not even 90 degrees because you're going at an angle, but if you can just pop it off to the side and get your board on the rail, make sure the rail's waxed enough so you're not sticking and you will just slide right through. Now, a lot of people, what I used to do when I first learned this trick to get comfortable was I would kind of pop and like, halfway get on the rail so get on do it on like the side like this but not with both feet you know you can kind of just like get off and hang out over here off to the side so that if anything bad's gonna happen you can just jump over here that's just something that you can do to work your way up to getting fully comfortable with actually sliding on the rail I'll show you okay now I'm gonna actually land one and demonstrate how to do a proper board slide Okay, so what I did was I popped 90 degrees, I popped onto the rail, and I made sure that my weight, now this could be scary. I mean, worst case scenario, that's not gonna happen on this because it's really short, but worst case scenario, if you're doing this on like a really big handrail, um, this, rail going in between your legs, that's the worst thing ever. You don't have to worry about that learning on flat bars, but that's where this fear of committing comes into the trick. When you pop onto the rail 90 degrees, you want to make sure that you are centered directly over top of the rail. That way, once you're centered, you can look towards the end of the rail and slide all the way through it. Now when you get into this trick, you don't want to lean too far forward and you don't want to lean too far back. You want to just stay right over top of it. That's the key to this trick. And then once you get to the end, you just give it a little nudge and turn out 90. Or you can go fakey, whichever. I'm gonna say the next easiest trick, number two on the list, is going to be front side, board side. So you're gonna do the exact same thing that you did with a board slide, but just switch everything to the opposite because you're going backwards rotating backwards. So on this trick, you want to, so when you pop, you're gonna come at a slight angle on the other side, just like a front side board slide. And when you pop, you're gonna turn 90 degrees the other direction so that you get over top of the rail sliding backwards. Now, something that is a little bit different with this trick, when you're in front side board slide, you wanna have your shoulders turned and you wanna have, don't have your shoulders necessarily parallel with the board, but you want your shoulders parallel with the rail and you want to be looking over your shoulder towards where you're going to land. But essentially, all of the same rules apply other than that. It might feel counterintuitive, but you want to lean back. Back as in toward forward towards the end of the rail. Really, in any of these tricks, you're going to want to lean in the direction that you're grinding, just an FYI. Okay, now the third trick I would say that is the easiest rail trick is front side 50 50s. I have explained how to do these before in, I think two other videos. I'll link them below if I can remember them and if I can find them. 
but I recently did a video with five secrets to skating rails and I was talking about the pinch, like the, the lock-in spot on this trick. That is the most important uh, aspect of trying this trick. And really when you're trying a 50-50 on a rail, you want to just think of it as a ledge. Like get the idea that it is a flat bar or a rail out of your mind. Like eliminate that. Once you think of it as a ledge, it's going to be much easier. And then, because then you can lock in. You can either lock in like this on the sides, on the heel side of your trucks and wheels, or you can do like the, the diagonal pinch lock in, which is what a lot of people do. But most people do that for backside 50-50s, less for front side. You can go at a slight angle, you can go parallel. Um, you just want to, you want to pop, you want to ollie, you ollie onto the rail and ollie right on top of it. Don't lean too far this way, don't lean too far this way, because what's gonna happen is your board's gonna go over that way if you're leaning too far back. If you're leaning too far forward, your board's gonna go like this, and then you're gonna go chest over the rail. That's not good. So you wanna ollie and land right on top of it. That's what you wanna do. Act like it's a ledge. Once you're in this trick, look towards the end of the rail, lean, don't lean too far forward, but don't lean too far back. You wanna just stay over top of the rail. Look towards your landing, look towards the end of the rail, and once you get to the end, just lean back so that your truck lifts out, so you don't dip down, so that your truck lifts out, and then you can land smoothly and right away. That's pretty much it. There's not a lot to this trick. The, the main secret is locking in and staying over top of the rail. Okay, now the fourth easiest trick I would say is lip slide. Really, lip slides or feeble grinds could be considered four and five. I'm just doing them in this order just because the order is not specific for these two tricks, but lip slide. Lip slide is essentially a board slide, but from the other side of the rail. So you have to ollie up and ollie over the rail, get into board slide position, and then you come out. The trick with this trick is, it might help to learn how to do front 180s before you do this trick. I'm assuming if you're trying this trick, you probably can already front 180. I know I could when I started trying this trick. Main point of this trick, you want it, you can go a little bit more at an angle for this trick. You want to pop up a lot higher than if you were trying any other grind, like a 50-50 or any board slide, because you need to swing that back truss over to the other side of the rail. So you really want to give it a nice high pop ollie and land into board slide position. Now, once you're in the lip slide, you want to stay completely centered over the board and you can kind of almost lean off this way too because I see a lot of people do that, especially when they're skating handrails and they get into a lip slide. They kind of lean into the rail and then once they get to the end, it levels out and then they turn out. The main, I guess, secret to trying this trick, finding a good angle that works for you to go out the rail. Because, I mean, you can realistically go parallel or you can go at a slighter angle. I like to go more of at a slighter angle rather than parallel. Like I was saying, the main secret is, is getting this back truck up over the rail. And once you're on, stay completely over top of the rail, stay centered. You can kind of give it a little bit of a lean this way because that will actually balance out. Since you're throwing your weight all the way over here, and if you're leaning over this way, like the weight distribution of the trick is going to equal itself out because you're gonna have force over here and you're gonna have weight over here. And then once you get to the end, same as a board slide, just give it a nudge and turn out. Okay, now for the last trick, the feeble grind. Like I said, this and lip slide are probably equivalent to difficulty, but the reason why I'm saying to learn feeble, now what a feeble grind is actually, a feeble grind is when you lock in your back truck and your front truck hangs over on the other side of the rail and you lock into the spot on your board that, that just sits there. It's like you're sitting in a pocket. How do I explain this? You're sitting in a pocket on the board. Your board is pinched on the truck and you're sitting in a pocket on the board that your board's just kind of locked in on the rail. And therefore, when you learn this trick and when you're grinding this trick, when you really learn this trick well, you can grind it forever because it's, it's really easy once it clicks into your head. You're like, oh, that's one of those tricks. If I want to try to do my longest grind, the feeble might be the trick to try. The reason why you try this over backside 50-50 is because backside 50-50 is actually, in my opinion, a lot scarier to learn than a back feeble. The back feeble has a perfect lock-in area on the board. So you want to aim. I'm going to get up, up close and personal and show you this. You want to aim for this side of the truck on the rail. You want the rail to be over here pinched between the wheel and the truck. And once you're on the rail, the rail is gonna go diagonal through the board and it's gonna sit right here. 
You can see where all of these marks are on the side of the board. That's from feeble grinding. So you're gonna lock in like this. Now with this trick, it's kind of like a five in the sense that you wanna have your weight leaning back, not too far back, because this trick, when you lock in right, this trick is gonna go, it's gonna slide. Since you're sliding on wood and since you're grinding on your trucks, like the trick really goes. You just wanna lean back. You wanna kind of keep your shoulders turned with your board, but look towards the end of the rail and lean back, keep pressure on your tail. And when you approach the end of the rail, you're gonna kind of, you're gonna put slightly more pressure on the back end of your board. So that way you can lean out and your nose isn't gonna dive into the ground. So really that's it. And I mean also too, when you're trying this trick, you wanna lean over to this side more than this side because if you're leaning over here your board's just gonna dip into the ground or if you're leaning too far over here your wheels gonna slip out and you're gonna slip into board slide but if you're leaning over this way more so than the other way it's gonna be a lot easier to lock in you might fall out this way if you're leaning too far this way but that's why you want to be centered over top of the rail so that your shoulders and your hands are parallel with your board you're looking at the end of the rail give it a nice little lean and I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I hope you were able to learn some of these tricks if you were wondering how to do these tricks. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you have any questions about these tricks, leave a comment below and let me know. I always try to answer comments when people are struggling with a trick simply because I want to help you guys learn them. Um, but yeah, I'll eat an Oreo later. Thank you guys for watching. I also wanna to mention too that I will be announcing the winner of the shoe giveaway very soon. And I am still accepting zine photo submissions. So keep those coming as well. Thank you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. I told you eight! Oh my god. I am the one, the one, yes, I know. Dale, you know how to do this better than I do, right? Tell the truth. <laughs>